making something really awesome today. Yeah. Little did you know, I've got a cool recipe for soft bread twist pretzel things. So we're gonna be making those today. Yeah. You need to get one package of yeast, which is a tablespoon. Flatten it out nice. And you put it in the thing. It calls for room temperature water mixed with your yeast, which is like one and a half cups. But I always get the same temperature as my finger. So it's like not too hot, not too cold. You can't tell if it's hot or cold. It's about the same temperature. So you just let that sit for a little minute. And meanwhile, you assemble the actual dough part. You have four cups of flour. And what I'm using to mix is a, a KitchenAid. This is a KitchenAid. I'm using this shape of attachment for bread. You can also just use a, a, a like a bowl and a mixing thing, mixer, just to mix it yourself if you don't have one of these. Four cups of flour, and the key to my recipes is I always get the precise amount, so I like level it off perfectly. A one, two, that's about as flat as I got on top. That's perfect. Three, maybe? Okay, four. I'll need a flour later, so you can probably leave it out for kneading the dough. Two tablespoons of sugar. Once again, being exact. Two. One teaspoon of salt. Salt. Have you seen the movie Evelyn's Salt? It's what's called, starring Angelina Jolie. I like it. It's a really good movie. I would recommend seeing it. It's a spy movie. You're into that. One. Don't need the salt anymore, so I can put that away. Nor do we need the sugar. Okay. Nor do we need the sugar. So it's just a light stir, just to get these ingredients mixed up a little bit. Okay. Make sure it's on the mix. Alright, so now this is mixed up and ready to go. I'm going to mix it all together. With a little low speed again, because you don't want it to get everywhere. So we're just gonna let it mix up. And usually when I make this, I don't have enough water, like ever, which is weird. So I'm gonna get some water. It should be not dry that it's like dry, obviously dry, but not too wet that it's like making a sticky noise, you know? Get it all 
nice and air free. I don't know. Just keep it going. Meanwhile, um, you can either have someone else do this for you or do it yourself at a, at a different time, but you need to get an egg and just kind of mix it up in a bowl and you get a brush, like for a basting, if that's the right term, I don't know. One of these. I just get a knife and just cut up little equal parts just so that you can make shapes with equal parts. Um, yeah. kind of cutting them up and we'll do a, a couple pretzels and a couple just bread twists or sticks. Yeah. About that big. Just about the little fits in your palm of your hand. Get like a cookie sheet. Spray it down. Bread twists are, are very easy, obviously. I'm just gonna make it rolled flat. Roll it. We're doing shapes. Okay. This time we're gonna do a pretzel. Same thing. I don't think you're ready for this. And as soon as you get that great long shape of evenness. That made no sense. Alright. You take this, you go like that, and yeah. And it's totally up to you what kind of shape you want to do. If you want to do like a name or letters of somebody, you can do that. A bigger loop and back up. So for this one, I just twisted it. We'll see how that one turns out. Also, the type of recipe, I guess, or the flavor of the bread twists that I'm doing are just going to be like garlic salt. If you want to do like cinnamon, sugar, you could do that. You could do just butter, you can do just salt, not garlic salt. You can, I, if you have any gluten-free recipes, you could probably add that. Yes, so comment if you want me to do another one of these videos, because I like making things. Mixed up egg and that brush I was telling you about. You just could kind of do a light brush over everything. I honestly don't know what this does. You could probably tell me because you're much more knowledgeable about this. I honestly don't know anything about cooking. <laughs> um, but just give this a light coating. It might taste good, I don't know. Don't doubt the recipe. Alright, and as soon as you get all these done, just do a light garlic salt covering. That one's really thick. Whatever. A light coating. Put them in the oven. What the? I don't know what's in there. The recipe tells me for 15 minutes. Let's play a game where see how many cameras we can jump to. <laughs> so if you want one of these, please subscribe and I might give them to you. And give the video a like and a, yeah, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. See you next week. I definitely forgot a piece of dough. <laughs>